Multiple siphons, Doom and CK never easy to bring down. He would need some more damage here, and they need it badly. It's a hero that can sometimes provide it. The new rupture mechanics help him a little bit. He would definitely have a lot to enable him in the fight. At the same time, Fnatic just stand their ground. If he like hits them onto creep waves, but we still see them constantly looking for jabs. Gabby, not quite able to set up with the blood right onto jabs. So turns attention over towards White Mon's dying. Wyvern instead, but indeed White Mon's just getting chased down by jabs. Jabs, he's going to be able to get first flood out of that. First, the over towards the power runes. This time round, Carl, he will be able to get the refill as he heads in, picks up the haste rune. Raven still teasing around in this bottom lane. He's got to be very careful. If he gets caught by another spell, he's probably going down. There's Uku and Zephyr, they're looking for him. They'll be able to take him out there. As they lead in and bring down Raven with the shield crash. The lack of regen that Fnatic had down here, costing them the life of their carry. Let's see if they can get the two of them in return. No, they can't get Cuckoo. Here Cuckoo's comes Carl. going to be able to walk away. Carl's ready to dive in to look for more. DJ protecting himself momentarily with the cold embrace, but it comes to an end. There's the extra control, another astral step. Carl, he'll take down DJ. I mean, DJ is probably not going to want to reveal himself here. It doesn't look like they'll put any effort into defending this one. He might in like five I seconds. I mean, actually, okay, no, they're, they're going to try and hold this. They're coming in with the TP, TP's arm out. Let's see if he can start something off it. Gone well, beginning with the silence onto the IO. Cuckoo has the thunder. Rolls to the side, trying to scout out DJ, but the boat's going to be coming crashing down onto Zephyr. As the IO will... They have that's going through it as Bloodseeker. Besides that, Armel will just be able to hold his ground every single one of the fights. Yeah, very tough heroes for Carl to burst through. Yeah. Top. Might be able to find jabs. Yeah, this time round, he's not going to have the chance to react quick enough to escape. Too much damage. He wasn't trying to take advantage that they saw that ult bottom. But DJ, walking through the lane, he's spotted by a ward. T1's ready. And the scan even comes up for Fnatic. I've got the DD on Carl, so great burst damage to play with. Here he goes, straining onto jabs with the control, but the cold embrace is there. And it's going to start healing him up. We'll only set up for the soul bind, though, and Cuckoo's ready to roll in. The thunder's off. They got straight the in, but the curse. Holds the Pango back in position. See if he can continue to chase as the curse comes to an end. DJ trying to hide in the trees. Jabs, he's just going to straight up stand his ground. Turn with the Doom, slam it down onto Cuckoo. Raven, he's around as well to offer up the damage. They're trying to get Cuckoo out of there, but he's going to get dragged back by the Rift. They bring down the Pango. Torrent up on the IO's effort, attempting to get out, and he will do so for now. He didn't use his wand. Let's see what Gabby can do here. Can he get any sort of cleanup going? He's keeping himself on top of the Wyvern, but the stun's there from Raven. Over to the side, Jab still being focused by Carl as Carl is desperately trying to catch him. The Remnant will connect as Jabs goes down. See Gabby, he's a speedy boy here, straight towards DJ, another one for him. Next. Yeah, I mean, the last two times, DJ's just been a, a huge you know, thorn in the side, especially for Cuckoo. Cuckoo's trying to get him with his thunders, he's just getting locked down by the curse. Yeah, that is why we're seeing him going for that Lincolns. Gonna have it pretty soon, but not quite yet. Jab. Jabs. He's gonna look for the jump in towards the high ground, but he's caught out by the silence. He'll put the BKB. Cuckoo rolling in. Double rupture. I've got the damage to bring down this Grimstroke. Gabby's yeah, he's gone. He's gone. They've lost the carry as soon as the fight starts. Raven gets on top of him as Gabby, taken out, didn't get the chance to get his BKB off. As Fnatic, they'll also be able to set up here for Zephyr on Oops. the return. Jabs oh. <laughs> misses the war stomp a little bit there, but either way. I mean, that was exactly what Fnatic need in these. Fnatic just continuing to farm, distribute wealth. As we said, BKB done for the five position. Quad BKB ready for the fight. Gonna try and jump, jump jabs here, but jabs will be able Instant to take, gets the doom off. And that is gonna be Carl locked out of the fight. Zephyr will come in with a save. Okay. Buy some time for him as T1, they'll look to reset. Not the worst of situations here is they don't lose anyone quite yet. They might lose Zephyr on the way back. He gets next. Uh, yep, they've got the catch on him. So Zephyr, he'll go down. Nothing that T1 could do to save him. They're going to try and poke back at them, but indeed nothing that they have will hold back for now. Open themselves up a window around it when that Roche does spawn soon. Depend on the timer, of course. And another DD, Carl. They're, yeah, they're looking for a window here because that Doom is down. BKB on Armel, 30 seconds as well. If they catch this Kanka, I mean, they'll, they'll look to try and catch 
John Well here. Ooh, the bash. Uh, he's going to clip him to the side. John Well getting burst through. He's trying to heal himself up. In fact, Carl. it's Carl that's in trouble. Zephyr tries to tether to help out, but Carl just gets taken down immediately. Cuckoo's in with the Rolling Thunder. The Cold Embrace is keeping John Well alive. They can't quite get the Death Prophet. They've lost two themselves here to you. One of Zephyr also falls. Cuckoo's still trying to find John Well, but he can't finish the job. The Death Prophet lives. Finally, the swashbuckle from Cuckoo takes him down. But they've lost three heroes, T1. And I think they're about to lose a fourth. <laughs> Cuckoo surrounded, taken down, ultra kill. Ready set up for the next move, too. Look at bottom. Carl. What? Oh, get the jump start. That's the Doom. Having that halberd there to break through the Lincolns. Open up Carl to be Doom. Zephyr will manage to save him. So Carl will live in this instance, but it will be Zephyr paying the price. Good read by Jabs, really. Good read by Zephyr as well, too, to be prepared to bear out, bail out his core and give his life. Good old supports. Raven, beyond God. Yeah, he can just lead the charge. He knows he can't die. Gabby. He's going to have Cuckoo coming into the side. See them jump towards Jamwa. They want to try and take out this death row. Jamwa has got some siphons going, so he's healing up, but not enough. Gabby will take him down. Over to the side, though. Raven had the control and damage to take out Cuckoo alone. You see Raven already hunting for more around the tree line. Carl, he's been caught by the X Mark straight back into the tower. And he'll jump forward aggressively with the Astral Step. He's trying to burst through this wipe and trying to but take down pack. DJ. But DJ won't quite die. Gets the cold embrace off in time. He can't quite kill the back lines as he needs to. He's going to try again, Carl. He's in once more. This time around, he gets the job done. But he's been caught by the Hex of Armour. The torrent's coming in. Raven's in with the damage. They may have killed DJ, but it. I'll keep his cool though, Gabby. No one can use the BKB yet. Doesn't need to. They'll turn with the Soulbind Rupture. Now with the rolling for forward from Cuckoo. He's looking to get DJ, but DJ's able to dodge it out to the side. John, well, he's being focused. Gabby in with the BKB. Should be able to commit to take down. No, he's backing off. The BKB's starting to come to an end. John, well, will still die. But now Carl's being caught by the X Mark. Dragged back into the Chaos Bar of Raven. They'll come in with a tether. The curse. the curse is there, locking them down. Big heals do come out onto Carl. So Carl's been left alive for now. But there's the jump from Jabs in with a hoost stomp. The Doom will get blocked by the Lincoln. So Carl's still able to jump back to the high ground. He'll turn back in, look to grab them with a remnant, but he can't quite get the connection. Carl. Jabs, he's found him. He's got the Doom. The rest of Fnatic are heading over. And they'll take him out now for with the, with the relocate. Jabs, he's actually going to get caught by the Bash. And now the rest of Fnatic have turned up. Doesn't matter, Gabby's still able to commit and take down the Doom. Off towards the side. Gabby, help him remove that. And now jumping in with the Cuckoo Rolling Thunder. Doesn't matter with the BKBs up. He'll turn over towards Raven, but of course Cuckoo on his own. He can't take down the CK. Carl, he's trying again to focus on out, but both of these cores so tanky for these zeros. It's only really Gabby that can do the damage. Let's see if he can get back in on this Raven Gabby's try, but he's caught by the Hex of the Stone. Gabby's just dead. He's out for 90. He tried to get back in. His teammates, they needed him to help out, but with his BKB already used, he did sort of both supports, really. From uh, Fnatic have been a they're, huge problem for T1. They're committed for this onto Raven. Is there the damage, though? So you say Gabby is the only real big percentage-based damage dealer outside of the Bloodseeker getting the hit heroes. Raven and Armel, they barely take a scratch. He has there we go, let's see what they can do here. Carl, he's going to try and get in with the jump of the Aegis. It's already picked up by Raven. Raven goes over to one side. He's got the stun on Gabby. Gabby's in trouble. He's locked down. Gabby upon the BKB. Zephyr takes him out in time. Beautiful. Zephyr will keep Gabby alive. Whitemon will try and TP out. DJ will find him. T1 not quite able to stop Fnatic from getting that Roshan and all the drops that he, he provides, but at the least they do make sure. Well, as well, there's no need for them to back off. Carl, he's going to try and jump in, but the BKB's up from John Well. Staying in on top of the barracks, they'll continue to take down the objectives. Fortification will buy them a little bit of time. Get the bash on Raven. And Cuckoo. He's going to try and start things, but this is a CK with an Aegis. Carl, he's going to look to jump in. The BKB's come to an ever job, but the cold embrace is there, healing him up. Inside the base, Jabs, he jumped in. He's found the Doom down under the Bloodseeker. Gabby's in trouble. The Bloodseeker gets taken out. Zephyr can't save him. As Zephyr falls as well. No buyback for Gabby. Out for 90. As Fnatic, they'll take the top racks and they'll look to move it over towards the mid, over towards the fountain as Raven wants to continue to pad up his kill score. As there it is, GG, it's called Game 1. So they definitely had a little bit of time to think about it. Uh, they will end up going for the Tiny. So okay. Tiny, in theory, can maybe blow up the Sniper if he gets maybe either a Blink or Shadow Blade. And toss him back. Toss him back, yep. Let's see if we can get another. Ooh, no, this time around, arm out. 
We'll get one of them, but indeed a five denies. Look at that creep wave, though. Armel looking to probably get aggressive. Oh, top lane. Here. Jabs. Oh. Oh. One more hit. Oh, he's got him. First blood for Whitemon on the top lane. Keep hitting them with it. It's kind of funny, but we'll definitely see a different build come out from Armel. I can't. <laughs> he can't even walk up to the creeps. Now. Uh, at this oh. point, you know, level four, what, two points? And the take aim in the headshot, you can't get close to him. Whilst all that action was happening in the mid between the two of them, it's bottom. And we'll actually have Zephyr going down. As a top lane as well. Another one here for, for T1 safe lane duo. Whitemon uh, getting kills against both of these. No jabs and DJ not having the easiest of lanes up top. And a lot of it down to Courier. Yeah, continue to see the harassment in the mid. Carl, he will be able to get the first Ooh. and second water rune. It Carl, like. Carl. He's uh, this might be it. One yeah, more got he's got him. <laughs> he's he's coming out as well. Push these two out of the lane, though. The CKI. Uh. Where's the rune? Spawns top. Don't oh. deny it. Uh, actually, uh, gonna end up getting the kill on Zephyr. Mm -hmm. Over in the mid, arm out. We'll get tossed back. So, uh, arm out. He's not scared at all. He's got the backup. DJ, if anything else was to go down, he'll stay safe. I kind of want bottle, though, right now. He's, yeah. Okay, so Zephyr will come mid. Got him. Cuckoo. He's going to try and run from this. It's pretty speedy, but he's not fast enough. I end up getting the Zephyr and White Mom. See if they can get a kill opportunity with Gabby. See if they feel that they can try for this. going to try and go for the IO. That's, uh, oh, okay. Have the Fiend script. Should be a, a guaranteed killer. Nothing to save John well as he gets taken down. Looked a little awkward for a second. <laughs> Sleeping himself on the Phoenix. But they get themselves also an Urn Charge, which can always be really relevant. Carl. Really was hoping for top rune, but the on bottom. To keep the, the, the damage going on Carl, Carl's dead. He's gone. And the DD rune is bottom, Armel. Jabs is probably looking to be very active still. Since he does have two very farm oriented cores, the CK as well as that sniper. And looking at I mean, looking at just levels really quick, they're both 13. Jabs. The Monkey King and the Sniper Jabs. He was sort of looking for action up here, but he was doing it completely on his own. The reload. They always have it. Let's see if they can back him up in time. He's dead. He is gone. They should be able to find a kill in return, Raven. Able to at least take down White Mom. And Jabs maybe overestimating his ability to, to stay alive long. In those moments when they were lacking a little bit of those cooldowns, Fnatic wasn't able to fully punish They're going to get the jump in on the mid, Carl. Armel. He's able to get him with the avalanche, the toss back. Armel will get Cookie to the side. Also, the tether coming in for John Weather, keeping the sniper alive. Kisses from DJ. I um, yeah, that, that Cookie being delivered Downstick. just in time. I think without that, Armel would have been dead for sure. Is it? it was a fantastic toss back right into the middle of the majority of T1. Pretty much done, too. So some excellent support play from John Well and DJ in the first game. We're seeing more of it here. Looking at some items being picked up. Not ever for that, actually. Hang on, Raven. Big John Well, what are they doing over here? All right, well, Gabby, he's just cleaned up a double. He's probably going to be able to get another one out of this as he turns over towards Jabs. Jabs will turn with a spear. But uh, just like that, see, well, they just got themselves three kills. I mean, Armel was sort of, okay, we've got the Aegis back to farming. DJ also chilling in the triangle by Armel. That's right, They probably looked at each other like, hey, where's the rest of the boys? I, uh, I, they, they were over in the jungle of T1. What were they doing there, Fog? Bro, damage. Yeah, Cuckoo didn't care. The four. He did not care at all. And if you look at the three cores, they are, they are getting very... Armel. Armel. They found him. He is gone. He is... Oh, oh can, they, can they save him? The tether? I they healing him up. It's not, not enough. Armel's going to go down. They have the kisses coming in on a cuckoo and Carl. We'll see if they can get anything in return after losing their sniper. Raven, he's going to back off. Doesn't want to get in on this. Gabby also. Oh, from the side, he'll find DJ. T1. It's up to a 5k lead. Fnatic. It's slipping away from the mid. John well. Jumped as well beyond the tower. Gabby. 8 0 4. Level uh, 18 at 21 minutes. All right. This is uh, Fnatic. It's going to be very, very painful. See if they can get the jump this time with their smoke. Great. Go, go. go for the doom straight away in. The arena's down. They trapped the two of them. Carl and Cuckoo falling low. Carl will try and run, but he dies in the arena. Gabby standing his ground in with the BKB and the Wukong's command, but the tether gets jabs out to the side. Gabby. What Fnatic needed. They're ready to go for another catch. Straight back in with the stun. Oh, Nightmare here. will help Gabby dodge the spear. Gabby is trying to turn and get the Jingu Mastery build up, but the damage from the side comes in this time. Armel able to stand his ground and shoot down Gabby. Raven's going to be one of yeah, the They've got to be prepared for these Raven oh. blink stuns. 
Carl, there's the jump. They get the opening onto Carl. Carl will live for now. And now they'll try and turn it. Cuckoo charging. He was able to get the Doom down onto Raven. Bound to strike out onto the two of them. Take that relocate out of the site. John Well keeping Raven out of the action for now. See Zephyr trying to head towards Armel, but he has to be careful himself. Don't fall from Carl. He's staying on top of the sniper, at least trying his best to do so. But the BKB is available for Armel. Armel pops the BKB Raven. He's ready to get back in. They pop the super over, but Armel is shooting down the, the, the grip. It will stop Armel, but it comes to an end. As Armel will be able to kill the egg, but he'll lose his own life. T1 back to winning the fight. As Gabby, he's not done yet. He's smoke up behind Gabby. Looks like T1 are ready to try and take it to the next level. See if they can get that jump inside of the base. They're gonna look for Raven. They're in with the combo, Raven. He's in trouble. They've got the Doom down on him. He's gonna get taken out. They cannot save him in time as Raven. Out for 70. Here's the fortification. T1. Successful push from them. And a push they can look to, to continue again down the mid. Cuckoo refreshes. They're gonna jump in under the tier fours. The arena's gonna get laid down. See if they can get him in position, but no, Armel's just gonna get burst. They couldn't keep their sniper alive. That's Armel out for 90 seconds here. T1. And they get in deep, they get the kill. Over to the side, Raven, he's been gripped. White one has the full control as a tie back on Raven. Yeah, that's what I meant. Historic, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the Luna is oh. the one that they'll end up going for. What do we think about that? Luna Bane lane combo pretty strong, makes their five-man group really strong as well. This is a good aura abuse lineup. If they get into that Roche with the Exorcism, it's gonna be a difficult contest. There's just so much aura. We go. Carl does make the move now bottom though. They see that Raven's alone. Gonna have TP's coming in straight away in response. They got enough burst to kill the Luna. Jongwell's in. The spear does connect. Remnants under the tower, but the infused raindrop. Oh, no, 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 alive now, Carl. He's at very low on mana. That last bit allowing him to zip outside of the range. But he's so low, the Crypt Swarm from Armel will catch him. He's got boots of travel queued. He's oh, looking to be yeah. everywhere. And more 30 seconds, and he's gonna have Exorcism ready to go again. Up he back sure over is. towards the mid. He's gonna look to join here with DJ. Try and take down Zephyr. Another Crip Swarm will do it. Armel's game getting stronger and stronger in these early moments. Carl, he has the Arcane, as we mentioned. He's in the area. And they do have the ultimate. So if Zephyr can find some sort of curse setup, they might have a chance to go ahead and drop it here onto the Visage. A zip forward with the follow-up. Arena down into the spear. The Defensive done. Nightmare coming in as Jarnwell looks to keep Jab safe, but he'll still go down. They'll lose the Visage, Carl, trying for more. Keep to the side for now. Tower goes down. T1... Making Fnatic pay with just the one life. Brought the numbers. It is Im immense how much damage it adds. I mean, Fnatic's already draft. into the triangle here. John Wells has got the, the, the Fiend script if he wants to go for the quick setup. Oh. Uh, he's going to hold back Zephyr with the Nightmare. And he'll definitely get the Wyvern. As T1, Gabby makes sure he's well out of this area. He still needs time trying to get to him. Because until he has BKB, Ooh, BKB battle, for Zephyr. he'll just die. And Zephyr DJ is going to find him in the trees. And they'll just drop the Eclipse as well. Make sure the Zephyr, no chance for him to maybe turn with a curse or anything. Nicely done. As they get the kill, they can keep moving on. And honestly, but by the time that this... I don't think T1's too upset right now. Like, they're getting they're, they're getting, getting away far. with this. Storm has BKB. Gabby soon BKB too. Or Cuckoo. He might get caught here. Yeah. Yeah, straight away. John well with the grip. Raven coming with the damage of the Eclipse. Cuckoo will try and juke through the trees, but they'll see him. 40 now seconds, no Mars. This should is possible from T1. Raven. He split. Oh. Cuckoo. That's the jump. Cuckoo. Quickly responded to by the BKB from Raven. He's going to be able to step Ooh. out of the arena. Gabby used his BKB. They now have to run on T1. Now we see Jabs off to the side. He's going to look to deal with Zephyr. See the rest of Fnatic. They are ready to continue to try and chase down this PA. They're moving in up towards the tier two. Gabby will be able to get back in time despite getting doomed. He will live. It will just be Zephyr going. A lot of different things to protect him, right? Yep. He's got two different forms of initiation. He's got the Pugna heals and Wyvern heals. Speaking of the Pugna. See DJ. He's going to lead it on to White Mont. Have the curse to hold him back, but still the burst is there in time. They take him down. DJ oh nearly dying, God. though, to the damage. I guess turned against him due to the curse. The curse with the familiars with the loose ones. They don't see him going to the pit. T1 will still suspect that something's happening. Yeah. Armel. He's getting a little low. A lot of damage. He has to put the BKB, the but the curse is there! Zephyr! Mass. Kills off Armel immediately without 
ultimate Carl. Zips forward onto Jabs. DJ will jump forward. They've got the grip. They're trying to lock down the PM, but the BKB was off in time. The Conan Brace as well, healing Gabby back up. The Eclipse kills off Zephyr, but they've lost three Fnatic. They had to buy back on the two, and the Raven, he's turning his, his, his ground. He's actually able to do so for a decent amount of time. Oh, put the stick to the Nightmare. The nightmare. Allowing him to dodge the spear. Raven Shadow Amulet is still alive. Oh Raven, my God. he's going to get out to the side of the fight. Raven will live as they keep the Lunar alive. Genwell God, the save back to back, the sleep into the Shadow Amulet, protecting the Luna. It looked for certain that he was going to drop. I mean, that was some incredible buybacks oh coming God. out from Fnatic. Well, let's got to look out for those. Adidi on a PA could certainly turn the tide. Oh, but the oh, stun! The on the front of the opening, they're in with the stun. They popped the linkers, but the BKB is still out in time for Gabby with the grip. John Well holding down the PA here from outside of the arena. The nukes come in towards Carl as the Soul Assumption takes him down. They've got Gabby. Gabby can't escape. As the second core falls, Fnatic, they're cleaning up the fight. Cuckoo, not a chance. Carl's in with a zip, but he's pretty much on his own. He's trying to take down DJ, but he cannot finish him off. He has to back away. Oh, and the structures are going to drop so fast. They, they, they have, have to, to buy, buy back. back here. These The tier threes go out. Fortification popped by T1. Jabs. He's going he's gonna to find the back lines. He's got the stone control. He's been able to take down Zephyr. That's Zephyr out of the fight. And Gabby's doomed. They're ready to push on Gabby, trying to run back to the base, but DJ stays on top of him. He goes it's down. Over. No buybacks on him. The tips start to come out. This game, this series, it's over. GG is called Fnatic. We'll be the team moving on here for SE8.